Hey guys, Otto from Everything Amiibo here taking a quick look at the brand new Kelpdome stage that's released tomorrow. Hello and welcome to Everything Amiibo. Alright guys, so you probably unfortunately the audio is completely disabled because as of now there's no way to disable the music in Splatoon and Nintendo claims copyright for every single one of the videos that contains the Splatoon music which is very 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 frustrating but don't worry I'll have some music in the background of my own which I'm sure you guys are already hearing it just means you can't hear the sounds of me actually uh, spraying around and killing enemies etc but anyway guys uh, you're probably wondering how in the world I've got my hands on a map that comes out in uh, tomorrow rather not in two days just tomorrow well that's because it's actually a single player map Obviously, the multiplayer version will be slightly altered, but if you look around, this definitely is Kelp Dome. And in the name of the level, I don't know if I can bring it up. No, I can't without quitting. It actually says, like, Battle in Kelp Dome or something. This is most definitely Kelp Dome. Ooh, nice, we got a special, Inksuka. But, uh, yeah, so we'll take a quick look around, and there's a couple noteworthy uh, points here. And yeah, this is coming out tomorrow at the usual time for UK people, and probably 7 p.m. tonight for um, American people, depending on where you are in America. But anyway, so first things first, right here, the Zapfish, because obviously this is a single player, is going to be where one of the spawns is. I'm guessing this, but it's pretty darned obvious. And then way over there is an identical platform with another circular thing in the middle, which is so obviously going to be for the other spawn points. You're going to spawn on opposite corners of the map, which is a new dynamic, because normally you spawn on sides. You'd spawn, you know, here and there. But you're spawning on different corners, so you have the option to go left or right, which is pretty cool. Um, so we'll just quickly take a look around here. So outlaying everywhere is just these areas of, um, like, it's sort of like a corn maze, but, uh, um, but it's, it's uh, non-paintable stuff on all these sides. So basically, there's no going back. Once you've fallen down right here, there's a ramp up here, you can't go back. So it's really interesting dynamic. Um, and those, those are outlying the entire place, and they're in the middle. Now, there's also this mesh grate over the top. And historically, playing Splatoon, I found it's really, really difficult to actually do well when you're on a mesh grate above someone else, because they can refill their ink, and you can't really see them and it's difficult to aim down most of the time so generally speaking it's probably a disadvantage so you want to use this to quickly run over somewhere and get into the ink or something over here um, like I said there's a lot of no going back so here's another one here where you go over it and then boom that's it you're over here and I think that's also the same I think that's also the case rather for the spawn points so over there with the uh, zapfish, you could see I got up using those um, weird like rails or whatever, ink rails, but they've not been in multiplayer at all, and I have a feeling they're never going to be in multiplayer because they would add a weird dynamic. Some like you could do some weird type of camping. But if you head over here, there's actually no ink rails. There's another one of these ramps. There's no way to get back up because all of these platforms, if you step on them, you fall right off because they're curved. So. It looks like it's going to be one of these ones where you can't reach the enemy's spawn point. Like, um, um, dang, how can I not remember the ones where you can't reach the enemy's spawn point? But there is at least one where you, ah, uh, Salt Spray Rig, you 100% cannot reach the spawn point. That's interesting, but you can still fire up into it, but it'll be, it'll mean less camping enemy spawn points, which is always good. Um, and yeah, there's this central area, but I have a feeling it's not going to be like most central areas where all the fighting is by it. It's just going to be uh, the area in the middle. I think most of the fighting is actually going to happen on the outskirts with people trying to flank and get into the middle and flank and get all the way up to the enemy spawn point. This looks like a really interesting map and definitely one of the biggest. It's a really, really, really large map. I'm super excited to properly play this online tomorrow. Um, for now, let's get those fish eggs by uh, breaking the zapfish here. So yeah, I really don't think these things here are going to be in the multiplayer map, but you never know. 
one last look at the thing, and it's worth noting the sky is beautiful. Just all that metal over it looks really cool. Uh, there's a sunset time, but I think that's in single player only. I have a feeling it's going to be changed to non-sunset time in the other one, because that's what they did for the other maps. For example, the skate park is at sunset in single player, and it's at daytime in multiplayer. But just... Hey, was that lightning? I swore that was lightning. But the detail above here is really cool. Those fans over there, and up the top here. It's really, really awesome to look at and all these posters on the side, it's kind of ominous, especially in this lightning. That's where the lightning was coming from, the zapfish. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, I'll end the video here by claiming my zapfish. So, if you enjoyed this video, guys, or if you found it informative, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Everything Amiibo for more Splatoon news and for more Nintendo toys and games. I'll see you guys later.